Hello everyone, and welcome to me uh, going to Let's Play the Stanley Parable. Um, this is going to be either a few videos depicting the different endings, or um, just one big long video, uh, and if you want more then say so. But yep, yeah, it's just going to be me, I'm going to I'm not going to go for anything, I had I tried to record before and plan things out and things went just all haywire. So I'm going to just pick whatever I feel like now and record it and do videos on it and do it alongside other ones and see how it goes. So um, let's play and I hope you enjoy. All of his co-workers were gone. What oh, no. could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Perhaps. Now this game is quite interesting as A I have no jump, B when I press interact I'm literally typing on a keyword. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. And again gives you a lot of these choices. Now for the fun of it, I'm going to say no. Fuck you, non Stephen. This was not the correct way to the meeting room nope. and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Yep. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. Perhaps I do. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. Yep. It had really been worth the detour after all, yep. just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Mm -hmm. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I did. But I'm bored now, let's go. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No thanks. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Warning, do not jump from the cargo lift when immersion will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off cargo lift, $5,000. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot uh -huh. here. I'm not your See enemy, ya. really, I'm not. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Yep. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Yay! He oh, I was dreaming. Damn it. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Okay. That was new. Never heard him say that before. When Stanley came to no. a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, you and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Thank you. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I do. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. Thank you. I've again never heard of that before. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I'm not. I am going back on the cargo lift. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Thank you. No, I'm not going to kill myself this time. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Mm -hmm. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. If you say so. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, yep. but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. True. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Who? Someone you've forgotten about. Who? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Fine. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Her? Wait, what? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. What? She's been waiting. Who? Wait, what's this? May contain information. Okay. Hello? Damn it. Violet. Urgent employer should never on any circumstances attempt damn it. What is it I cannot attempt damn this? Wait, what the f is that a 
baby hugging a computer screen? I have no idea. Let's go. Um. Huh. One sec. Huh. What? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. What is it, the banker? What the fuck? What? What the f Oh, Stanley, is that you? No. Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Come on. Alright. Okay, there we go. Alright now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha! Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. No. Oh. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Prick. Fine. What do you want? You've chaired this up This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Wait, what? No. No, no, no. I, I, no. You, you walled me off. I, I, I am playing, I am pressing, let me, are you hold, <sighs> No, I refuse. I am pressing shit on my keyboard. I press all other keys but V, look. Do I have to? Fine. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Mm -hmm. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. No, I really haven't. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Did I? Fantastic discoveries of new lands. I was pressing keys, was I seemed wonderful. happy. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Mm -hmm. What? And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. The thought excited him terribly. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered What's through the... this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Spoilers! And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions and down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Is this, like, how the game was created? What the fuck? Tell my kids a story. What the fuck? I'm playing Sims? It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, oh, that do. he might always feel this free. To shut Surely up. there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I love you. But there is no answer. No, no, How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. I don't want to sleep. Uh, and I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. 
that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. If I push it, you... But it... Fuck it. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? <coughs> Press K to quit. You know what, no. This time I'm not. I'm just gonna stand here. Do exactly what you just said I'm doing. Nope. I ain't pressing no okay. I will press E to see if the door opens. It doesn't. Does this computer work? It doesn't. <sighs> okay, it is. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Uh, wh and Stanley pushed a button. Wh and I tried again. <laughs> and Stanley pushed a button. Um. And I. What? What? That was the scariest thing I've. Okay, moving on. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. No, no one following me. At least not that I can see. I hate you. When Stanley came to a set of Fuck two of them, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. You killed and me, Stanley shut up. knew it perfectly I well. Really don't care. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, my that blue. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley? Its grace, its subtle charm. No. Stanley knew it was something deeper. Something darker. A deep, dark, intense for this blue, amazing, empty room with nothing in it. Is it a yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I have a vending machine. Don't forget the vending machine. Look. I'm typing on the vending machine. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Oh, I it's possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> yes, everyone left because I stayed in a room. And if you have anything to go by, I already don't have a borderline personality. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> Yet you're still talking. Wait for one more, see if it says anything. Yeah. Huh? Journal of Extended Episode to Lounge. Day 41. Expo Exposure to Lounge. What is it about this place? Sorry, it's really difficult to read. The weeks I... Wait, the week? Yeah, the weeks... I have spent here. They feel like mere seconds. Seconds by... Calf son? Cake son? I don't know. Oh, you know what? It says something cool about being stuck here, so... Uh, 
But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Yep, I'm not doing what you say. Now I wonder if you don't pick up the telephone or something happens, but I'll try that later because if I if I have no choice but to pick up the telephone, I'm gonna have to go through all that again. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Well I have a reason to be here. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Mm -hmm. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm you not. You killed me. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you or... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Pretty Why? much. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To <laughs> show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Okay. Give me a chance. Okay. I'll give you one chance. Danger. Danger everywhere. 2B1. Hello. You must have a boring job to be all the way down here. 2B3. So do you. 2B5 and 4. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. No, Stanley walked through blue. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I kind of like blue. It captivates. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Sorry, what was that? The blue door. Okay. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Okay. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yes. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Very much worth it. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because no. I did. Okay. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Okay. Because this is what you wanted to see. Mm -hmm. Help me here, Stanley. Help I'm elucidate trying. these strange and unknowable desires of yours. Cannot. What would have made this game better? What, what did you want? want to see? Vehicles? Yes. Skill trees? Oh, God, yes. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. I can't talk to you. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Huh. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. What? Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I'd say it kind of did. Oh, of course. A three. <laughs> really. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? <laughs> Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? <sighs> Think we can do that? Yes? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Let's see what you got. You've given me the third door and a scoreboard. Um. What? Skip the intro sequence. Only the worst of set players choose the blue door. Shut up. I was actually more active than Stanley. Shut up! Hey, it's me! Seven hours, really? I'm last place. Uh huh. Why not ask some friends for help? Error. Friends, this is empty. Shut up! What, are you gonna mock me anymore? Now. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. No, hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Do I have a chance? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Fine. What do you got for us, Johnny? 
the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. Uh, so why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Uh -huh. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Okay. Oh god, make it stop. Please, make it stop. Please. You know what, just die. Just die. Just die, please. God. You heartless bastard. Yep. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Both. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's what? over. Thank you for playing. Wait. Your input was extremely valuable. But oh, no. hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Yeah. Just to ease the pain. Okay. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> Take your time. Mm -mm, yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Hey, wh wh well, Stanley, is this any better? Work At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. Yay. But is it enough? No. Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? No, because I can't jump. Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. Oh. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Oh. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. This will go here. No, here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. It's beautiful. I made this standing. Look at it. It's amazing. Gaze upon my work of art it's and great. feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. I feel so ashamed. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Oh, my God, thank you. Thank you. Isn't it grand? It's so snug. Isn't it perfect? It's amazing. It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Yes. Diamond everything. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Mining. Yay. Let's go mining. Let's go. Do, 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 oh, do. my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. And coal here, I could mine it. For and then to get get oh, some no, wood no, and make no, sticks. No, 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 this is far more open ended than I had in mind. But I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all, one out of five. Oh, well, yeah, Even spider. The diamonds couldn't save this one. Oh, please. Okay, new game. I hear zombies and spiders. Am I dead? Hello? Narrator. Hello. Um. Okay. <laughs> yes. I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You trapped in a glass box with no way out, oh, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. No, I want to put toilet. Oh, um, there, yeah, I want to put toilet. I want to put cup in toilet. Eh, come here. Come here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Can't jump. <sighs> Fine. Ba da da da. Ba ba da da. Ba ba da da. Ba ba ba. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Yeah. Your forte. Yes. Genius. Thank you. I know how to play Portal. 
No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. No. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. No, come back. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. No. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. No. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but well, as for me, I've had enough. Oh. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. <sighs> I don't need your ratings. Ouch. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. Ow. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. <laughs> and perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. You're mean. The thought won't last long. Oh, Goodbye, dick. Stanley. Goodbye. Good luck with your work. Thank you. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. Uh -huh. Goodbye. What? What the f Okay. Where do I go? Hello? Hello? Anyone here? I appear to be lost. I'm a man named Stanley who cannot jump and press buttons. Do I just like fall? What do I do? Wait, what's that? It seems so awfully eerie without another area. Where the fuck do I go? Where am I going? Where, where am I, for example? Wait a minute! No, this isn't what I think it is. This is the, uh, this is the original Stanley Parable. This is the mod version. This is what was around... Yeah, because this is where the choices of doors used to be. This is... Wait, there's a light over there. Yeah, this is the old, this is Half-Life 2 mod. The original Stanley Parable. Wait, aren't I going back to my desk? Yeah, I yeah, am, 47. It's my room. It's my old room. I'm, I'm, I run, I'm ironically back where I started. A very long time ago. Why is there a security? Never mind. What does being here do, exactly? Where am I? I have no idea where I am, but I'm confused. And I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. You clever boss. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Uh -huh. Very soon. Mm. I can wait. Well, that was interesting. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm gonna leave it there. I've done technically, what, two, three endings in that short span? <laughs> um, and I will surely come back and do more. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.